it's Maybell Toxic Free. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, so, can I just start off by saying that a lot of my videos are made from the side of experience. I talk, and I know a lot of people do the same thing, but I just want to say that I talk from the side of experience, the side of having been there. Um, I don't talk from the side of a life coach. I don't talk from the side of a PhD with lots of letters after their names. I'm trying to give my experiences so people can relate. Because that's when I started searching for videos to watch, I was looking for people to relate with. It's fantastic looking at these videos that give you the information. But I just wanted to kind of like relate and understand other people's stories. So when I talk about something, what I've done is probably experienced the situation, then I've researched it and then I've got more of um, an idea of what it's all about. Um, a lot of stuff that I've actually noticed when you're with a narcissist is how they change the script. I call it script continuity or the lack of script continuity. Because with a narcissist, they don't have a sense of self. We all grow up with things we've gone through, things we've liked, we don't like, we've created our personality, we've created who we are. We believe in things, we have ethics, we have morals. We are a solid person with solid opinions, solid ideas, and we're not afraid to talk about them. And if we say something to somebody and they don't agree with us, we're quite happy. The little voice in our head says, fine, they don't agree with you, get on with it. The people, i.e. maybe like a borderline personality disorder person or narcissism, narcissists, they have no lack of, they have a lack of self. And how this kind of shows is they flip flop around and they will talk to two or three different people, give two or three different stories. And they forget what they've actually said. Because if you're going to lie, you've got to then be a good have a good memory about what you've talked about and this is where is I've noticed it's it's a lack of continuity in, the, in their script because we know that narcissists script everything they don't live in reality they want to twist reality to fix them to suit them and to be good for them whereas we live in reality and let reality basically mold us whatever comes in front of us we deal with it we work on it we get through it and we move on Narcissists will twist everything and they will change, they'll just change the script. Um, to me, it's like, you know, when you watch a movie and you've got like, you know, DiCaprio walks in in a blue shirt, then walks in again in a green shirt. The script edit hasn't been put together, together properly. Um, in films, they have something that's called a script supervisor, which makes sure that when each edit, each scene is created, that they're exactly the same right down to the parting right down to the earrings so that's why a lot of films we watch we think oh hang on a minute he's wearing a blue shirt he had a green shirt before it's the same thing as a narcissist they just create each script so you end up living your life with a narcissist thinking hang on a minute that didn't happen that's what are you saying that for they'll say sorry i'm late from work tonight i was stopped off at kentucky's and i was talking to john now john you've never mentioned him before who is this John? Don't know. And then later on in the evening, they'll say, oh, I'm still hungry. That McDonald's didn't fill me up. And you go, I thought you went to Kentucky Fried Chicken. And they'll say, no, it's McDonald's. Now, this is also where the gaslighting comes in and the cognitive dissonance. Because then you're thinking, which one did you go to? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? And you go, well, and that's when you start to get suspicious. And then they'll say, oh, you know, sorry, I'm late. My tyre burst and I had to get Johnny from down the road to fix it. And you go, okay, fine. So you see Johnny and you say, oh, by the way, Johnny, thanks for helping me husband with the tyre. And they'll say, I didn't help your husband with the tyre. Did you not? So then you get that script that they've told you. You go back and you say, I've just talked to Johnny down the road and he said he didn't help you with the tyre. So at that point, they've got to create another script. And the next script will be, oh, Johnny's got Alzheimer's. I didn't tell you Johnny's got Alzheimer's. And you go, oh, no, that's terrible. He's probably forgotten. So the next day you bump into Johnny's wife, Jean. Jean, I'm so, so sorry about Johnny. What about Johnny? He's got Alzheimer's. No, he hasn't. So he's got Alzheimer's. So you go back to your husband. 
Johnny, Johnny doesn't have Alzheimer's, I've just seen Jeannie. Not that, Johnny. Quick, flip the switch, turn it round, think of another script. Not that, Johnny. Johnny from up the street, the other side. And they're forever, forever thinking of new scripts daily. And that's what I'm trying to say is they have no sense of self. They have no sense of, of morality. They have no sense of ethics. They don't believe in anything. They will just make things up as you go along. If you say to them, I don't like bananas, and the day before they've said they like bananas, they'll then turn around to you and go, oh, I like bananas too. And you'll go, didn't know you said yesterday you didn't like bananas. But can you see where I'm coming from? Nothing matches. So our brains are left with this cognitive dissonance, with this script, you know, the continuity of their scripts not matching one to the next. And you think, what the hell is going on here? And that's how narcissists are. They have no sense of self. They create the script as they go along. They'll make up their beliefs, depending on who they're talking to. They'll make up their likes and dislikes, depending on who they're talking to. So that whoever they're talking to, they'll fit in with that person. So they'll agree with Jenny about, you know, liking a certain film, Dirty Dancing. The next person won't like Dirty Dancing. Oh no, I don't like Dirty Dancing neither. And then every time, and then when these scripts start to come together and the, the continuity of these scripts don't match, that's when we all start putting two and two together and going, what is going on? Why did they say this yesterday, but they've said this today? And that's one thing, guys, that I have noticed throughout the time of being in the vicinity of toxic and narcissist people, learning about them, seeing people on YouTube. They just change their minds like that. And they have to be quick, 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 because we live in our reality and we deal with reality. It comes and hits us in the face and we deal with it, we learn from it, we like it, we don't like it, we make up our minds, we have our beliefs, our ethics, our morals, and we deal with it. Life hits the narcissist in the face and they will just tweak it. So when we live in our world and they live in their world and they're clashing continuously, that is where we get confused. Then we ask them questions. That's when they call us crazy because we know that one script's not clashing with the next one and they don't match. And then they set their gaslighters to say you're going crazy. Then we get upset because we said, well, you liked Kentucky yesterday and you like McDonald's today, but you didn't like Kentucky last week. And it's like, it's only a bloody takeaway woman. But to us, it's like, I know it's only a takeaway, but why would you, why are you, why do you keep changing your mind about what? No sense of self, no beliefs, empty, empty inside. They make up who they are as they go along. They make up what they like, depending on who they're talking to. They just script their world every single day. Each day they wake up with a new script. And when you're with them for a long time and you're by their side listening to them to talk to him, talking to her, and you're hearing their script changing. Why is he telling John that? He, and then he's told Peter this. Because those people are only in the vicinity of him half an hour a day, four hours a day, five hours a day at work. They're not trying to join the scripts together, but when you're with them 24-7, for two to three years, you will start to notice things do not match up. So guys, look out for that. That is another red flag. If they change their mind like they change their underpants, let's, do they do that? Anyway, that's another story. That's my next video. Do narcissists change their underpants? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm hoping that's made sense, but no. No sense of self, no belief system, no likes, no dislikes. They are, they are empty beings and they will just decide on the spot what they like and what they don't like according to who they're talking to because they want that person to like them. It's just, it's just a ridiculous world. They make up their beliefs on the spot. 
guys i hope that makes sense take care thanks for watching see you later